Hey, Shug. Welcome back to Nisi Garotero. So we're here to do Friday's reading, daily reading for October 8th. This is for everyone. This is a daily collective reading for Friday, October 8th. Okay, so our message is breaking trail. A breakthrough is at hand. All right. Bottom of the deck, rejuvenating rain. Clear the past, heal the present. Okay. So let's see what this message is all about for you. If this reading does not resonate, please do not try to make it fit. All right. I don't have my glasses, but here we go. A breakthrough is at hand. You're at the beginning of a breakthrough. Everything you've been doing for the past few years has been a prep has been a preparation for what's ahead. There are instances when the path isn't clear ahead. And in those moments, sometimes you need to break trail. In your life, it may seem that the path disappears. However, the only way to reach your destination is to push through. Keep going. Do things in a new way. Imagine a woman giving birth. It's hard. But through her great effort, a baby comes into being. Something new and exciting is coming into your life. Okay? So, things have been difficult, you've had a plan, you were going one way and then things start to change or, you know, you didn't, you know, the road just wasn't clear anymore. It's time to break trail. Meaning, it's time to start digging a new path, okay? But don't stop. You can't just say, oh, the road's not clear, I gave up on life. No. You break trail. Start a new path, okay? That's how you do that. Still reaching your destination. Why is breaking trail here for the collective? Breaking trail for the collective on October 8th. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So with the three of swords, this is heartache, disappointment. Okay, and this is generally something that has happened more than once with the three swords, right? So with the three swords, you've experienced some type of disappointment, okay? Maybe you had a plan, you had something set up, the direction you was going, it was supposed to go this way on this time, and that's how it's going to be. But with the three of swords, it's some type of disappointment, okay? And that's when the trail just wasn't clear anymore, right? Mm -hmm. So with this hermit energy, this is someone going within. This is someone taking a step back. This is someone gaining enlightenment. This is someone soul searching. This is someone gaining wisdom. Okay? Yeah. Shining the light. Mm -hmm. Because this is someone that's trying to figure out, well, okay, if that plan wasn't working, if that plan is not going to work, right? I had it all laid out. This is the way it was supposed to go on this day and this time and this way. Now it's not going that way. Okay, the hermit energy says, take a step back, reflect, figure out a new plan. Okay, and with this King of Cups energy, this is someone creating the next path from the heart. Okay, this is someone using their emotions to steer their new route or to um, create that new path. Okay, because we have the Two of Wands on the bottom. And guess what the Two of Wands represents? Choosing a path, okay? So now we have someone who has gone within and has said, you know what? I planned everything out at first. It didn't go well, right? This new route, okay? I'm breaking new trail. I'm going to break trail and start a new path from the heart, the things that resonate with me emotionally, the things that I love, the things that I desire in my emotions, my love, what I love, what I want to do, who I want, right? Breaking trail. Why is this here for the collective? You're making a decision from the heart, okay? You're choosing a path from the heart. Yeah. The King of Cups has a whole lot of love and doesn't necessarily show it, okay? But this is someone that is using their emotions to guide their path, okay? Breaking trail. Yeah. There was a lot of back and forth. With the two of pinnacles 
juggling ideas, you know, should I go this? Should I do this? This, this, right? Okay. We got that King of Swords energy. Okay. And that King of Swords energy is the, the, the King of Truth and Clarity. All right. And he's just direct with it. He's like, you know what? No, this is what I'm doing. Okay. <laughs> this is what I'm doing. Okay. Yeah. Because with the full, I mean, the moon here, this is, you know, suppress emotions. This is like fear and anxiety. This is like, you know, fear of the unknown. Okay. Because what's behind the moon? You know. I don't know. Do you know? Okay. But with that devil energy, somebody probably imagine everything negative behind that moon. See, look. Like, what's behind that moon? Right? Yeah. But that King of Swords energy is clarity. Because rejuvenating rain is here on the bottom of the deck. It says clear the past and heal the present. Okay? Whatever was going on in the past, clear it up. Okay? So that you can move forward in the direction that you want to go. All right? And it says physical and emotional healing is occurring. There is a cleansing and clearing of old emotional wounds. And even a release of past life limitations is happening. All is forgiven. Absolve yourself. Forgive others and their transgressions against you. It's time to let it all go. Okay. Let's clarify and see why. What is this all about? Rejuvenating rain. It's time to clear it. Okay. Because that's what was impacting your uh breaking trail okay your path okay why is rejuvenating rain here for the collective clear it it's time so that you can heal the present so that you can go forward in the direction that you truly want it's time to clear it rejuvenating rain why is this card here for the collective Rejuvenating rain. King of Wands. Okay. This is the king of action. King of movement. King of doing something about it. No longer just thinking. Now I'm actually breaking the trail. Okay. Now I'm not just thinking about it. I'm not in hermit mode anymore. I'm actually breaking the trail. I'm out there with my shovel. Okay. Yeah. And the Knight of Cups. And the Knight of Swords is saying that I'm doing so quickly, okay? I'm making it happen. Action is being taken, okay? Yeah, to have a new beginning, to start over, to have a new path, okay? Rejuvenating rain. No longer just thinking about it. Rejuvenating rain. Hmm. Look, there it is again. Gathering that strength. Gathering that courage, okay, with the strength energy to communicate and move forward. This is about movement. You might even be moving completely, okay? Because that's what the Eight of Wands represents, actually movement, okay? Yeah. To speak your mind, to say what you got to say, okay? To get things off your chest. To move, okay? Because that two of wands on the bottom of the deck says you are choosing a new path. You are going in a new direction, okay? You are breaking trail. That's what I have for you, Shed. I hope this helped. And I look forward to seeing you guys soon. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. I miss you guys already. Bye. Happy Friday.